A reassuring word from the seven biggest public utility jeepney groups is boosting MMDA confidence against reportedly exaggerated claims of striking transport groups of a severely paralyzed state of commute in the MCR on Monday. Still, the MMDA is mobilizing all its resources to provide stopgap solutions on Monday, such as standby trucks and buses for stranded passengers on the road. As we hear more from PTV's Karen Villanta. Shirley is already calculating the cause of her fare if the transport strike pushes through next week because some jeeps flying the San Mateo to Mali route are expected to join the strike on Monday. She has no choice but to ride a motorcycle healing up. Kasi ano, mahirap talaga kasi wala masakyan. Dagdagastos. Kasi pag sumakay ka ng angkas, 100 plus papunta na doon. Oo. Oh, oh. Papalik pa? Oo oh, po. Oh. 200 na. Oh, wala na, matitira. 400 plus na lang. Oo. Oh, oh. Pagkain mo pa doon. Due to the possible effect of a week-long transport strike on passengers, especially to students who commute daily, some universities have already announced that they will not cancel classes but will only do them online to avoid travel disruption to students from March 6 to March 12. These include the University of Santo Tomas, Ateneo de Manila, University of the Philippines, University of the East, and Mapua. Adamson University will also implement a skeletal system for their school employees. Face-to-face -face classes are also suspended in the entire Marikina City in all public and private school levels. However, jeepney drivers still have different opinions on whether to join or not. I don't know what Daniel? Because they say that they not But you, you Kasi hanap buhay namin ito eh. Gusto namin titigil yung face out eh. Oh, oh. Wala, namang gusto, wala namang gusto ng luma, gusto bago. Oh. Pero sana yung makatarong ang presyo naman. Manibela National President Marvel Buena is still firm on his decision and hundreds of thousands of traditional chips throughout the Philippines are also expected to push through with the stoppage on Monday. Maribela is not satisfied with the LTFRB's action to push the deadline for operators to join the cooperative or corporation until December 31. Their request that they be allowed to form a new cooperative instead of joining an already formed group has not been heard. Inextend lang po ma'am Karen yung paghihirap namin eh. Yung mga provisions talaga doon na magpapahirap sa amin bukod doon sa deadline, nando doon pa rin, di naman po binago. Wala po kaming magawa kundi ituloy ito at napakabigat. Pero nandito na po ito eh. Hanggat hindi po nababago ng LTFRB yung ating hiling, ganun pa rin po yung stand natin. Meanwhile, the MMDA is ready to deploy free rides but it still depends on the effect of the transport strike. Sabi naman po sa amin ng Magnificent Seven o ang transport organization na may pitong malaking transport groups na hindi po sila sasali po sa transport strike. Sinabi rin po sa, ng mga mayors kahapon na marami rin transport groups sa kanilang NGUs na hindi lalohok po sa transport strike. Dahil na dito magdadeploy ang MND at LGUs ng mga sasakyan, depende po sa sitwasyon ng bawat lugar. Handa na lahat po kami pero hindi po namin i-deploy agad unless may shortage pa sa mga areas. At 7 a.m. on Monday, the traditional chiefs will gather at the Quezon Memorial Circle to join their caravan to the Land Transportation Franchising and Regulatory Board. Karen Villanda for The Nation.